right, so welcome to my introduction to the Spore universe to Spore creature battles. Uh, the idea behind this was to create a Sporepedia-based 3 versus 3 RPG game, and I'm quickly going to just demonstrate what I've come up with so far and see what other people think about it. <clears throat> I'm also coming down with a cold, so bear with me. So, when you log into Spore Creature Battles, you're able to set your creatures. Now, what I've got here is three default Maxis Cactus creations on the list, and we have the ability to see some of the moves that this creature is capable of using. But, with most games, we don't want to stick with the default creatures here. So let's hop over to the Sportpedia and let's just try to drag us in some creatures. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this image address because in order to get my creatures set, I need to input a specific number. And that number is in the URL for the image, it's in the URL for the creature itself. <clears throat> and all you got to do is find your method for getting that number. So looking at some more of these creatures here, uh, I like the way this dragon looks. I'm going to copy the image address for that one. And I will set it as my second creature. So we'll get rid of some of that. Trim this down here. And move to my third creature. So I'm going to copy this crazy looking thing right here. Actually, I love the color on this one. Let's copy the image address for that one and paste that information here. And all we got to do from there is submit our creatures. And notice how they come up inside of my, my app here. And we can see more specific stats about these creatures. So quick recap we set creature one we set creature two we set creature three submit our creatures and that'll lock us in so now we can go back home and we can generate a game so the best part about this I'm trying to make it is to be some sort of multiplayer online game um, and we'll see how it turns out it may never become complete but I'm working hard to try and make something so me generate a game it's going to ask me to create a battle and I'll hit yes so as you can see the setup here the setups not fully finished this is just the basic design here um, but what I need to do next is I need to come up with a second user so I'm gonna quickly go back real quick and log out and just log into my other account oh not that one let's try this one Alright, so uh, let's set some creatures up for this one. So again, we have some simple default creatures. I like the way this thing looks. That's pretty cool. Um, and it finally makes use of some of those pose features. So I'm going to copy that image address. Come over here, paste the code. Do the same steps as before. Wipe out some of this URL. And I'm just going to find me some more creatures. This looks pretty cool. Copy the image address, paste it right here, remove the extra parts of the URL, and let's quickly pick our last one here. And this thing looks too cute not to use it, so we're going to copy that image address and add it to our third slot. So let's just trim the code a little bit, submit our creatures. I notice that we can see the stats for each one. The attack, the social, just some basic stats right here. So again, we're just going to set our creatures. <clears throat> and we just submit it and that'll lock us in when we go to create our battle. Or we go to join our battle. Since we've got a battle already created with my test player account, um, all I need to do is enter a username here to join a battle. So to do that, um, I'm going to type in test player. So that's the player that I want to challenge. That player theoretically would be sitting in the lobby waiting for a game to begin. And I would press submit. Join a battle. Yes, I'd like to join a battle. 
And now you can see our lineup here. So we have test players, creatures at the top, and my players here at the bottom. So I'm still working on the fundamentals behind this, but basically we have active creatures up here. I can set which creature I want to change as my primary creature. And when I do that, notice that my creature here in the center changes, and that lets us know that that is my active creature. I do apologize for any bugs you may see along the way, but I'm still putting this thing together. So now that we have these creatures set, I can also pull up their moves based off of their Sporepedia creature character. So notice we don't see a lot of stats here, but do know that with each one there's an XML file with the stats for all the creatures. So I can go ahead and check it out. This creature has Sing level 1. Uh, it has Gesture. I forget what Gesture is. Um, not Pose, but Charm, perhaps. And we have Strike level 3, Charge level 2, Bite level 2. So, theoretically, when I click these, um, I'm doing some kind of behind the scenes math. So taking a look at what we know, I've set it up to where like Sing does one point of damage, Dance does two, um, Charm does three, and Pose does four, and the same thing with this, one, two, three, four. And then we multiply them depending on uh, certain factors. So I'm still trying to put this part of the game together because I want to do some things with the other stats. You know, if they are attack attacks and not like social attacks I want to incorporate the meanness of the creature um, and do certain things like that so as it is right now um, I know the layout right now is a bit difficult to look at but just do know we have test player at the top my player at the bottom my creatures are here on this side while my opponent's creatures are above me now these change depending on if you player one player two test player was player one in this case I was player two and um, I could choose from any one of these moves here so let's say I wanted to hit their active creature which is the one with the glowing orb just like my active creature has a glowing orb <clears throat> I want to hit them with charge three uh, and confirming my attack right now it's still in a uh, developmental phase here so you're going to see some things but when I hit yes notice the Thunderbird's health should go down to 31 so whatever the math was behind that um, it took effect on my opposing creatures now I know an RPG has turn based attacks uh, I still haven't developed that turn based part yet but notice if I do the charm level 5 and I confirm my attack the health of this thing goes down. Um, I have a weaker creature, so the healths on our creatures vary. And given the stats that Spore creatures have, we could have some sort of like Borderlands infinite possibilities once I get this thing set up. Um, using the cuteness of the creature, the meanness of the creature, how many arms and legs it has, uh, speed, and all kinds of things. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and your ideas in the comments on how I can put this together. And also, if you are skilled a little bit in web development, let me know, man. Maybe we could uh, try to put something together with this if that's something that interests you. So, thank you for checking that out. I'll go ahead and do a confirm sing on this creature across from me. Just to show the effects one more time. But <clears throat> I do know we have some awesome things going. And if your creature's health is getting too low, you can change your primary creature out to a different creature so really cool things going on i'm really trying to get into this trying to make this work out um so let me know your thoughts and opinions like and subscribe see you later